Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Gamer Guardians podcast. I'm your host, Danny Martinez, the Drunken Guardian. Today, we have Randy the Rignorock with us, and only Randy the Rignorock with us today. What's up? Hello. It's a very special show. We're doing a, a one-on-one interview, right? One-on-one interview. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, sir, how are you, and how is the game that you're developing? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's actually um, Kingdom Hearts 2 Remake. Kingdom Hearts 2 Remake? How, how, how would you do a remake? How would I do a remake? Yeah. Um, I don't think you can do a remake on that one, honestly. It's pretty solid as it is. And yeah. it's, it's not me just, like, being a fanboy, even though it <laughs> definitely is, like, part of it. I'm sure it is. But um, it definitely is, like, very fleshed out for what it is. Oh, there we go. That's going to be over for us. I can, I can tell you a thousand things I could, I, I, I could fix that's wrong with Destiny, so... <laughs> So I guess that says something different about me. Maybe you're not a real fan. Have Maybe I'm not, that? right? I only got the hat <laughs> and the shirt and my ghost right here, right up here. <laughs> uh, and the tattoo on your butt cheek. That oh, you yeah, know, yeah. Wait, how did you know about that one? Oh, you know. <laughs> those uh, those changing rooms at the last place we were at, that, they, were, they were pretty small. <laughs> uh, so You never noticed the cameras up top? What? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, so this is uh, episode 91 of the podcast. We're going to have a short episode, clearly, because we only got two people here. So we're not going to be crazy talking over each other and stuff like we, we normally do. But um, oh, normal conversational n- a normal conversation, right? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that, we'll see how that works <laughs> out. Maybe I'll maybe I'll maybe I'll maybe we'll get into a screaming match. Just cause. yeah, just because just the, the whole mom and dad feel all over again. <laughs> um, don't forget guys if you are interested in any more episodes of the show if you want to see the other episodes of the show just check out um, GamerGuardians.net for the links to all the shows as well as reviews that I do for the coalition you can check those out as well oh by the way I also have I, I also revamped the about me section of the website so for anybody who's interested you get all the links for Boneless Bones as well for Kevin. So for his Twitch channel and his Twitter and all that. So you can check out his things as well as mine. So yay for that. You don't have to you don't have to keep on plugging, especially when he's not uh streaming at certain times. <laughs> hey, any wealth, welcome. Uh I don't know if you're soliciting something or whatever, but I just, let's not do that here right now. Um uh so the first article that we're going to talk about today is the multiverses trailer was you the one that sent it to me or was it kevin like on the uh, instagram it was me thing? That sent it. yeah yeah so what were your impressions of it first like it, it, it it's, oh, it's, was it's it's smash brothers with warner brothers characters yes um initially like when, when the whole thing was like teased and like the the concept was like bought out i was like okay like this seems pretty interesting um it seems like it's going to be a whole meme fest especially with like shaggy being in it like ultra instinct shaggy and shit um the trailer is super fucking cute i love it it, it almost yeah. seems like a fan made it for the fans mm-hmm. that it was so yeah. good yeah uh oh, um was i was really happy when fucking iron giant came out yeah actually i got a little emotional at that point because i was just like man mm-hmm. that's a childhood movie of mine and that was such a sad ending at that point and then all of a sudden he met his hero <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so it it all came full circle full circle yeah yeah um so it's got um a little bit based off the trailer i guess i I don't know if there's extra people outside of what they revealed in the trailer itself but i see um finn and jake i see velma i see harley quinn tom and jerry wonder woman um what was the purple one i believe it's amethyst from uh uh steven universe uh, Garnet, yes, Garnet from Steven Universe, Steven Universe as well. Taz from um, Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny from Looney Tunes, Shaggy, of course. This Shaggy mm-hmm. was the reason why this thing came to fruition in the first place. Uh, who else? We got for some reason Arya Stark, but sure, because um, uh, Warner. I know, yeah, I get that, but still, like, uh, it, it's strange how you you you're trying to fit in a cartoon character from a real world or live action type of thing and, yeah. and why Arya was, stark why not why not like john snow john or snow. or, De- or diana daenerys whatever her name was like there are daenerys? plenty of yeah, yeah or daenerys. fucking Drogo. 
Yeah, there's plenty of other characters. Like, why? And, and I'm not knocking about it either, but I'm just curious as to what was their thinking on why <laughs> Arya Stark. That that's that's all I'm wondering. Um, maybe because the show kind of like put focus on her towards the end. It kind of didn't though. It 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 very much focused on her on season seven, and in towards season eight, it started to die down right okay. after she right after she killed off um the 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 White Walker. And and then nothing, like she was. I I thought she was meant to like kill the queen, and I thought she was gonna get her revenge, and and nothing really happened for. Her. Anyways, like we're renting over the show. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so again, from aside from Arya Stark, you got of course the big the big names. Uh, I mentioned Wonder Woman, and you got Batman and Superman, and then we have Iron Giant. So hopefully, there's more stuff from there. Are you expecting anybody new or anybody different on the on the on the game? Uh, okay. All right. So my little audio thingy ended up like fucking up a little bit. I was really worried for a second. Um, am I expecting anyone? Honestly, no. Oh, um, I would love a kind of like ice climbers ordeal with uh, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. Oh, that is so good. Or or like a Pokemon trainer kind of thing. Yeah. I like that. I like that idea a lot. Actually, that that would be honestly really. That's really neat. good. Um, any I did not get a whisper because I'm using a different thing here, so I don't know if I receive whispers on this app. But now I am on the stream on Twitch itself, so if you want to send another whisper, go ahead. Um, what do you think the gameplay is going to be like? Do you think they're going to rip it off of um, uh, uh, Smash Brothers, or would they try to do their own thing? Because that that uh. I said the uh, Nickelodeon game kind of has his own style of fighting. Um, All Stars. Yeah. I honestly, am, what? I was playing with the settings earlier. Hold on. How uh, do I change the background? Oh my god, that? you're in. Where, where are you? I'm. Uh, yeah. You're in space. There we go. Hmm. That's a bright one. There's a mess. Pardon me. Um. What the fuck was it? I I don't know. I feel like anything that's a kind of a Smash clone does change things to a degree, but not fully. So I would expect like Rivals of Aether or some shit. I, what? Some what? Okay, Rivals of Aether is another kind of like Smash game of sorts. It was when was this out? Uh, I think I was still in high school when it had come out. Um, it was like a kind of pixelated thing, almost like uh, Super Smash Flash. Except with like a smaller roster. Do you know Super Smash Flash? No, so that's a <laughs> I'm game. completely lost. Um, okay, pretty much just like a fan made thing where they just like put any character from anything. It's like Mugen. I'm sure you're familiar with that one. Mugen Fighters, where it's just like also just a fan made. They throw in anything from anywhere. No, all right. Well, anyways, <laughs> yeah, it's no. just uh, another special one. This this one I I don't expect much. Just smash, but with uh, Warner Brothers. Okay, what okay. What does anyone call them full? All Stars Brawl, Brawl All Stars. Brawl, either that way or the other. Yeah, it's like it's with Brawl and All Stars in it. Oh, All Star Brawl. Okay. Yeah, I I was supposed to review that game, and I don't know if they just never ended up sending us a copy or not to to, to, to <laughs> provide. I don't know. Or maybe they did give it to somebody else and I wasn't aware of it. But um, yeah, I, I was looking forward to playing it. And then I heard that the reviews anyways were kind of like mediocre with it. So I worry that they're, I, I worry that they're not going to try hard enough to make this like a game for the fans of the, those franchises and stuff like that. Because clearly Smash Brothers is not it's not just the gameplay that everybody has fun with, but it's also because you get to play as those you know, those favorite beloved characters. And I like think the Snake. characters like yeah, Snake Man. Character. Oh fucking! I hate Danny when he plays a Snake Man. He 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 cheeses so much with those rockets. <laughs> yeah, he's my favorite Nintendo character. <laughs> um, oh, Sora, he's my favorite Nintendo character too. Of course he is. You probably shit yeah. your pants and when Steve they revealed from him. Minecraft. Um, yeah, I was I was I woke up when I saw it. Yeah, just immediate prior prism just. <laughs> 
Oh, I just read that they're making a closed alpha for the game. It's going to mm-hmm. run May 19th to May 27th. So hopefully some people will give some good impressions of the game. We'll see. Um, It's free to play anyways, no? I would hope it is. I, I think it did say it was going to be free to play. I mean, I wouldn't fault them if they did have to charge people, you know, 60 bucks. I mean, Smash Brothers says the same thing. It's not a free-to-play game. But if they did free-to-play, then you know it's going to have a shit ton of microtransactions to make up for the money. And you know how some people feel about that. Uh... <laughs> uh, I just uh, I was looking that up, um, if it'll be free. And there was something that oh yeah, it's gonna be free to play. But um there's a thingy here, uh an article. Uh the thingy it says what the fuck is it? The headline, I guess, whatever. It says a uh, multiverse is a shameless mashup of Space Jam and Smash Bros. and it works. Can you imagine? Space Jam? Like, How is it? I'm assuming because of Looney Tunes and shit, which is it's a stupid comparison, but can you imagine having the uh the monsters on it? The monsters? Yeah. Yeah. That would be <laughs> cool. Maybe there'd be bosses or something. Or maybe Michael Jordan. He's the final boss. I read that. I read that people were expecting Michael Jordan and then some people were just like, No, they should have uh Don Cheadle? No, the new dude. Uh new basketball dude. I'm not a basketball Steph fan. Curry? Uh uh the basketball guy who played in the new Space Jam movie. I don't know. I didn't watch. Oh, Jesus. I can't remember his name anymore, but it it just shows I don't know shit about basketball. No, not Dennis Rodman. <laughs> One of the new guys is like he's the he's the he, he's the Michael Jordan of just generation, pretty much. And that's why he was in the movie in the first place. Um, All right, I'm gonna look up. But yeah, the, yeah, yeah, Space Jam, whatever the sequel is. But uh, too, people uh, people were saying that yeah, Michael Jordan would be a good addition on there. What do you see? Uh, Anthony Davis. That's the brow that's fucked up. <laughs> Cause he has a monster unibrow. Kyrie Irving. LeBron James. That's his name. LeBron James. LeBron James. What? LeBron James that's... is the basketball player. Yeah, that's he's, what he's I was huge. Earlier. That's not what you said. Yeah. What did you say? I said, did I say no, I said Michael Jordan. My bad. Yeah. Whoa. And then Whoa. you said Don Cheadle, and then you said Dennis Rodman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Um yeah, I mean, sure, LeBron Although James. Steve Harvey, he's the final boss. <laughs> no, 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 just his mustache. <laughs> Instead of master hand, master stash. Master stash. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't I don't know if I really care for anybody on it. In basketball? No, 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 like just in the game in general. <clears throat> I mean, oh. it's nice what they have there already, but I don't know if I could think of anybody Warner Brothers. I really 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 like the Animaniacs idea you got. Like, that mm-hmm. one's really good. And I would probably say Animaniacs. I mean, if anything, I guess Pinky in the Brain. Freakazoid? Freakazoid yeah. would be kind of cool, actually. If you get, like, a Flash character. Uh, oh, I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of some old school cartoons I used to watch. Warner Brothers. Spawn wasn't Warner Brothers, was he? Huh? The show, Spawn, the animated one? No, that was HBO. Oh, was it? Yeah, HBO had spun. <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm I want to move on from that. I mean, we can go back to it later if we think of anything about it. But um, for the next topic, PlayStation Plus or Sony, I should say, Sony has revealed the lineup for some of the games, not all of them, but some of the games. They said a partial list of what they're going to be releasing for the PlayStation Plus. And I'm I have mixed feeling feelings about it. They have a lot of new ish games, and then they I I'll read a couple of them, but uh, like it'll go from like kind of new stuff to like the older generation things. We're talking like PS3, PS PS4 to PS3 and PS3. Nothing really for PS1. Very very small selection of PS1 games. Um, but some stuff that stands out, Ghost of Tsushima, they're going to have that, uh, God Ooh. of War, they're going to have that on Director. there. Yes, Director's Cut. Oh, they're nice. going to have Spider-Man and Miles Morales both on there. Wow. Returnal. Mm. Uh, of course, The Last of Us series. They've got the Uncharted series. Not that you care. 
Wow, they do? <laughs> uh, what else? Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Hollow Knight, Final Fantasy fourteen, Dead Cells, Red Dead Redemption 2, Resident Evil. This is Resident Evil for PS4. So I don't know what that means. Is that the remake? Um... Yes, RE2 yeah. make he thinks it just says Resident Evil. It doesn't say a part though. Resident Evil, strange. Um, and then PlayStation, the original PlayStation stuff, Ape Escape, yeah, uh, Hot Shots Golf. I'm excited. Yeah. I know I'm the only one who is excited for this, but IQ Intelligence Cube, and I think we talked about that before in an episode. Like we were talking about like like obscure games and stuff, and I, I talked about IQ, and it's like this. Very strange third person puzzle game. Uh, so I'm excited to play that one. Siphon Filter is another one. That looks so, fucking weird. We did talk about this. Yeah, yeah. Siphon Filters always look weird, even even for its day. Oh, no, no, no. IQ. That, that one. Oh, looks IQ? Weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, Siphon Filter. That one, I. Yes. <laughs> we got um, Superstar Dust Portable. That was for the PSP specifically. Then we got Tekken 2. I know Kevin will be happy with that. That'll mm-hmm. be fun. Uh, the Worms series. We got Worms World Party and Armageddon. Oh. Uh, Ape Escape 2. Ark the Lad I'm excited for. Mm-hmm. Dark what Cloud. Else? Dark Cloud is cool. Jack and Dexter. That Jack, one I was Oh, yeah. Good. They got... Jack, Jack and Jack 2. Those two are... Yes. They don't... Jack and Dexter is the first one, right? Yes. Okay. And then they got Jack 2, yes. Jack 3, Jack X, which is Jack... It's pretty much... About that. It's pretty it's much shit. it's pretty much crash racing, but it's really bad. Um, Rogue Galaxy. I'm trying to remember what that was. That was a Space Pirates RPG. Okay, I thought that was like Star Wars related or something. No, that's oh. Rogue Squadron. Uh, Siren yeah. Wild Arms Three. I'm excited for. I love the Wild Arms series. It's like a Western RPG made in. It's a JRPG, but in a Western setting. It's awesome. Uh, Bioshock remastered, Borderlands, the Handsome Collection. So you're, pl- you, I guess that's all of them, right? Yeah, that's from, the whole. Uh, that's the whole series. It's not one. It's not the three. It's um one, two, pre sequel. Ah, ah, okay. Yeah. And Kingdoms of Mamalor. We don't need three. Three. Yeah, I know how you feel about that one. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah. Kings of Mamalor is pretty good. Kings of Mamalor is good. Reckoning. The Re Reckoning. Lego Harry Potter. Know, sure. Weird one to pick out of all the Lego series. Uh, Demon but then again, Souls. They also, oh, the they original released, Demon uh, Souls. It says PS3 yeah. Demon Souls. That's interesting. Yeah, that the first one. They yeah, have the first a PS3 one Demon Souls also, like way up there. I, I didn't. I didn't yeah. even think. Like I thought that they had lost the rights, which is why they had to remake it from the ground up. I mean, I guess I was wrong or something. So I, I, they're hey, they're releasing it for the, the PS3 version. Okay. Uh, I go Infamous, Infamous Two. Yes. I don't know what Festival of Blood is. I guess that's a DLC. For infamous, mm-hmm. uh, Ratchet and Clank, Loco Roco, Coco Reco, Coco, what the Loco, Loco Roco, that's very Japanese. That's a music game. You play, no, you're little... thinking, you're thinking, no, Patapon. Loco is... no, 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 Loco Roco, like the little yellow thing that I have as my PlayStation thingy, that's Loco Roco. Patapon is also another one. Loco Roco was that's... rhythm, I don't remember that. Uh, no, 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 it's not a rhythm game, you just like, yeah, you turn the world around, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Loco Roco. Oh, okay, okay, they had, they had a little music that was going on there, it was uh. cute. Oh, Resistance 3. I like the Resistance series. Resistance is really good. Mm. Resistance yeah. 3, Ratchet and Clank series, at least a couple of them. Asura's Wrath. Oh, yeah. The I button. Like, the, the, the quick time the event anime. game. <laughs> uh, Castlevania. MCA. Why would you? So you put Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. That was Isn't not a well received game. That one's uh, God of War with Dracula. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. But no. part one was awesome, part two was really not. Really, really bad. Fear. Uh, fear, which fear is one. cool. Fear one. Oh, WB Games. Are we gonna get Alma in multiverse? Oh, um, oh, Alma's gonna kick ass. <laughs> uh, I like Enslaved. They have Enslaved Odyssey to the West on there, and I, I, I talked to you guys about it because oh, I was, yeah. I think some of you guys weren't sure what it was. I know what it was. I used to play the show. Yeah, one. yeah. I, I know some Never people know. It. It's not a very well known game for some reason, but it was a it was a really high production game. It had Andy Circus as the main character. Um Enslaved, I feel, was similar to what's the name of that fucking game? Uh, it was a PS3 launch title 
long red hair. Oh, um, Heavenly Sword. Yes. That. Yes. Yeah, it was very much like Heavenly Sword. It was a high production type of game, just like that. Andy Serkis was in Heavenly Sword too. He played as the uh, the villain. That's why it's similar. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, what else? What else? We got the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection. I assume that's the first three. Co op one. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Not too bad. Is going to be on there. Cyberpunk. I'm not surprised. They're trying to shove that in everybody's faces right now. As long as it's free, people are going to play it. Tiny Tina's um, Wonderland. Have you? That's here? Yes, have that's on the list. Planet? Played oh, what? Is. I need the Lost Planet games. I play. I think I played all three, but I only liked the first two. Maybe Lost Planet Two felt really weird. It was fun because that's when we got co-op. Lost Planet One was a survival one for sure, mm-hmm. with like temperatures dropping and shit. And three just it was supposed to be like a retelling of a story of some guy that's like dying or some shit. Mm. It was just really strange. But dude, Cyberpunk, come on. You're not gonna play that? Um, I mean, I already own the game. Of, of, of <laughs> shit, well, like just, I, I care not for it to be on Game Pass. Although, hopefully, it is still a good idea. Like, I, I'm not knocking the fact that they they'll put it on there. Of course, they're gonna try to shove it in people's faces because they're gonna try to make up the sales as much as possible. And hopefully, it'll get enough good reception because they fix so much of the game that. It'll it'll warrant them to do a sequel or even just have some funds to do whatever else they want because you know they want to do The Witcher Four, you know they want to do another cyberpunk game. Uh, I think they even talked about um, something else they were working on. What else are they known for? Uh, CD Projekt Red. Remember. Yeah, they were working on something else. Maybe I'm mistaken, but anyways, I know they wanted to do Witcher 4, and then they talked about that they were going to work on the Witcher 4 at the same time as Cyberpunk DLC, and I was just like, that's a bad idea. Like, you should really just focus on Cyberpunk, um, kind of regain that name back because you kind of screwed yourselves over it, but hey, if they think they can... They I don't can, think they're uh, known for anything else other than Witcher. I guess not. No, that's it. Yeah, that's all that was. Even their, even their spin-off games are, are Witcher things. Because there's Cyberpunk, and then there's all Witchers. Then there's Thronebreaker, which is Witcher Tales. And mm-hmm. then there's Gwent, which is the Witcher, the Witcher, card, Witcher card game. Fuck. So, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe right now I'm getting solicited for engagements on Twitch. Sorry, what? Uh, I, uh, we have somebody on the chat here soliciting for engagements, like for people to to see more of the show and stuff. I I I don't understand how people have no shame with what they what they do. Um, so <coughs> that covers it all for the two topics that we had today. So I was actually kind of like worried that we weren't. I, I wasn't even going to have you on the show because you hadn't got back to me, so I wasn't sure if you were showing up. Uh, and Kevin kind of, uh, he got stuck with work, you know, in the freaking restaurant industry. You don't know when you get cut. It, it's almost impossible. Even if you expect the time to get cut, they end up keeping you longer, and that's pretty much what happened. And then Danny, that he's a one-man traveling circus. You know, he's he's working <laughs> he's working and traveling around doing his thing, so I can't knock him over Without that. pants? Without, the whole time, like in the airport. Yeah. At the conferences, in the mm-hmm. personal meetings. Uh, so I actually brought up an extra um, article. article. Top question. And I, you know, again, this is pretty much just me grasping at straws and trying to find something to talk about since this would be a short episode. But we don't normally talk about rumors that much. But there are some huge rumors that have been going around right now with Silent Hill yet again. And the rumors were that somebody who is very reliable with the leaks on 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 certain games and stuff like that, I, I I'd have to bring up the article to find the name, but he had released some photos, some screenshots of the art of the game of of a horror game that was coming out, and supposedly this was the Silent Hill Two or Silent Hill sequel silent hill remake whatever it may be 
And a lot of people now are hyped about it. They don't know if this is true or not because Konami reported this page, this Twitter page, and got it knocked off. They got it deleted oh. and copyrighted. So that makes it even more suspicious that Konami specifically was the ones that did this. So they got that going on. And then there's the rumors that Bloober is still working on the Silent Hill 2 remake, which Bloober is very well known for working on remakes for the most part. Bloober, the Bloober team did have a, a comment to say about it, and they pretty much denied that they were working on it, but they are working on a Bloober team title, whatever that means. Mm, I don't have much faith in whatever Bloober team has to come out with. Like by themselves, uh, yeah, that's just me. I don't have they ever come out with their own games though. Blue routine. They've had Layers of Fear, Blair Witch, The Medium, Observer, just walking simulators from different fucking angles. Silent Hill isn't isn't a walking simulator kind of game, personally. You know what I mean? Well, didn't Bloober Team? I'm pretty sure Bloober Team did um, Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, excuse me. Isn't that Team Eco? No, they did the, the original game. Uh, when Shadow of the Colossus, when they did the HD remake. Bloober Team. Mm, no. Sony Blue Point. That was Blue Point. Blue Point. Ah, I'm mistaken. Yes, yes, that's right. Oh, is that why you were so like really? No, because Blueber Team is not. Mm -mm. Again, it's Bloober just Team's simulator. got the Medium Observer, Blair Witch, Layers, Layers, Layers of, Fear of Fear two and one. Yeah, but they're good with horror though. <laughs> they're good with horror. <laughs> the Medium. All right. So the I played the Medium. I got through the Medium, and that was very much a walking sim. As much as they they very much they uh, they, they, they they marketed the game as though it was like a survival horror ish type game, but it was it was far nothing. It. it was far from it. And it was a good game though, but it was not the game that was marketed. So I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't what it, they made it seem to be. So I I, I I I will say that that's a little bit on the shady side there. But the medium was good. Observer got crazy good reviews. Observer was. Uh, the ship one? No, Observer was the the cyberpunk ish, uh, first person, uh, uh, investigating type game, mystery type game. Uh, you're like in a you're in an apartment complex. Yeah, no, I was thinking observation where you play as uh, you know that one, do you? That you're the ship's AI in some space station. You're essentially playing as Hal from two thousand one. Oh no, I don't know that. Space one. Odyssey. No. That one's really fucked. That one's uh, that one's fucking good. So now that I know that it's not observation. So. Um, but no, layers of fear is just it wasn't it wasn't it, man. Layer, the first one was I like the first one. It was super short. That shit. I beat the game in like what was it like two three hours. It's not much of anything, but I liked it. Mm -mm. It wasn't bad, mm -hmm. especially for like the first few games. Like they they're learning and they're good with horror. Is what my opinion is. I like their horror style. I think they could do they're, Silent Hill justice. They're good at generating tension, just not writing. But the writing's all right. So the writing's already there for Silent Hill for the most part. Obviously, you can rewrite some things, I'm sure, or like dialogue, if anything. But like the story is already there. They can create the tension just fine. I don't know. I think I think they could do it. Okay. So they're not a Western company. Where are they so from? So maybe there is faith. Oh, they're European. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. If they I, were if they were Western, then I'd be like, no, fuck, fuck out of here. That's not working out. <laughs> well, the Western the Western developers already Silent fucked, Hill, fucked yeah. Silent Hill like since uh, the room after the room. Oh, that's a good mojito. I was gonna ask you, what's that long straw for? Yeah, yeah, mojito. 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 What flavor? I hate I hate making mojitos for for guests, but I'll make you my like own. It first. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, make, I'll make it for myself all day. Yeah, it's a regular flavor one. I didn't I didn't want to like sully sully the mojito. Um fuck, yeah, so I don't you know. Ever I, have a, a virgin mojito? A what? Virgin mojito. How do you make a virgin mojito? Is it just soda and the yeah. lime and mint? Yeah. Okay. It's I haven't tried it. Kind it's kinda gross. 
I guess. The, the rum really, it, it, it's, a, it's a necessity. I feel like you'd have to just be a lot more heavier on the on the lime in order for it you're, to, you're like... You have a virgin margarita? That bitch <laughs> sour. It's just sour mix, isn't it? Essentially. <laughs> oh, God. These are requests that, that I feel like I've mentioned this one on the show before. How one of my uh, one of my friends she was asked for a virgin screwdriver. It's just OJ. Yeah, no, no, no. But they wanted a virgin screwdriver. They said a virgin screwdriver. Virgin screwdriver. Did did virgin they want something or... else to be put in it? No. It's just it's a, a cup of orange blood. juice. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we charge them twelve bucks for OJ. Oh my god, people. <laughs> they wanted and the guest is always right mm, oh. <laughs> oh man that's funny some dude came into the job that i'm in now um he asked for a virgin old-fashioned that was a fucking nightmare for okay her. even bitters have alcohol so you can't put bitters you can't put the whiskey I'm I'm sorry. What? I, I I didn't watch the process, but he ended up doing something pretty fucking similar too. But the dickhead was like, "Oh, just use ginger beer as the base." And he's like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, ginger beer is essentially the same thing as like whiskey, right?" And I was like, "Are you fucking retarded? Like, what the fuck is this?" Ah, <sighs> man. I I, I, I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> you you look confused. Yeah, I'm trying to understand how anyone would think. In some capacity, that whiskey is similar to ginger beer, but gin- but some ginger beers are alcoholic as well. So we're talking oh. like we're talking non-alcoholic ginger beer, or are we talking ginger ale? No, he said ginger beer. Okay, I was perturbed as shit. I was just like, I'm gonna go do other things now. <laughs> oh man, oh. I yeah, I don't know. Um, shit. I mean. Rumors of Silent Hill. I, I I don't I don't know what's really gonna happen. I'm not gonna get into that bullshit again with Blue Box and Kojima and all that stuff with Silent Hill again. But a Silent Hill is gonna come eventually. I know it is. Like I'm I'm calling it. In the next fifty years, another Silent Hill is coming out. <laughs> so so I'm as not, a pinball machine, not as, as a, a pachinko machine. machine. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna happen, but just just wait just wait that's it that's all they could do because because if 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 konami really cared then when they feel like it's ready they're gonna make the announcement if mm-hmm. if people are jumping the gun with these leaks and stuff and they start forcing people to show incomplete projects then we get another cyberpunk on our hands <sighs> so silent hill 2077 that's when it'll be released actually silent hill 20 se- yeah yeah oh yeah that's a good yeah Confirmed. 2077. 2077. Silent Hill 2 remake. Yep. Now let's just put that on every single fucking tabloid that we can. <laughs> let's I'll start, our, I'll our start with Reddit. Story. Oh, they'll eat that shit up. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the news. There, there's not too much going on. Um, I, I, I think I'm more so excited about the multiverses thing. And I, and mm-hmm. I didn't think I would be. I think, I think it's a... Uh, in a sense, it's a cash grab because obviously the the success of Smash Brothers, other people tried to emulate it, such as the PlayStation All Stars. Then you got the Nickelodeon All Star stuff, the or Brawl, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, what the fuck was that? It's those two put together, All Star Brawl. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully they they they're wise enough to do their own identity, their own thing have fun with it and 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 cater to the warner brothers fans like not some other type of fans or smash brothers fans or stuff like that don't try to pull from them just do your own thing man like that's i I hate when games try to try so hard to uh to emulate other things so much to the point where it doesn't even have its own identity and like it it just becomes a really bad clone people actually people are making fun of uh uh misplaced have you heard about that game Mm mm-mm People are going crazy about this uh, indie game for this game jam stuff that's going on right now. Uh, there's a game called Misplace. It's M Y S, not M I S. Oh. So it's called Misplace, and it is it is almost a damn near perfect clone of Legend of Zelda. Um, uh, link either Link to the Past if you want to look at it that way, or um, 
uh, um, uh, that looks... Link's, or Link's Awakening, pretty much. It, it is yeah. a complete ripoff of it. So a lot of people are like excited about it, but a lot of people are just like, "What the fuck are you doing? Like this is this is like practically stealing at this point." No, that's exactly it. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. I'm looking at the uh, screenshots. Of it looks like that. they ripped all the assets off of it, and mm-hmm. they and they, they made, Of course, they're gonna make little tweaks here and there. It, make, it looks like the all restore Legend of Zelda. Yeah, so so a lot of people there's there's a lot of there's a lot of divisive opinions about this game. You know, yet you know negative and positive, you know meaning of divisive. Um, but uh, <laughs> the English Guardian. What I what I'm pretty much saying is don't be like that. Don't be like them. Like you can look at Tunic. Tunic is very much uh, 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 very much uh, um, influenced from. It was influenced by the Zelda games. Very much so. You can clearly see very it. different. Yes. Than just like hardcore plagiarism. Yeah. It's 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 it is a very, very good game. It has its own identity. You know, don't turn into Amber Turd and end up saying the difference between donation and pledge is the same damn thing, which is not. I don't know if you heard about that. Have you heard that? No. Have you not have at you all. have you watched the trial at all? That shit's hilarious. I've I've seen a couple things of it. She, My favorite is the uh, my dog stepped on a bee. <laughs> Yeah, that's all over TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what happened was they were cross-examining her, and the lawyer asked her, um, you know, when you got the divorce settlement from Johnny Depp, how much did you get? She got seven mil- six, either six or $7 million. And as soon as she got the money, she pledged, meaning she promised to give all the money, all of it, to charity and then she went about it later on and said i donated i donated it all she said i donated all the money to charity but the charities have actually gone on record and said we have never received anything from her wow so on in court the lawyer was just like so you you didn't donate any money did you and she's like yes i pledged the money over and, and she's just like no no you didn't donate the money did you yes i pledged the money no 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 not pledged donated the money okay. and, then, and then she's like she had the goal on on there to say i use pledge and donate synonymously so she uses them both the same way and, and then the lawyer was like well i don't <laughs> she literally said that she's like i don't like there's a difference between donate and pledge and then and then and then tr- and then uh, amber tried to use an analogy and said you don't you, when you buy a house you don't you don't pay for it all at once do you and i was just like what does a house have to do with it like you're, you're twisting these words and you're using this inappropriate analogy it just doesn't it, it doesn't make any sense so that's my my just a dumbass, honestly my I, point I, with that story is just you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna make a rip game, off. you don't rip it off like practically every asset and everything like that. You mm-hmm. you use it as an influence. You use it as motivation. You don't you don't do what my misplace is doing. That's my opinion. I so I'm not looking forward to this. I think this is stupid. I think it's wrong. I think it's disrespectful. What are your thoughts? Ah, uh, I, I sneeze really intensely right now. <laughs> um. I'm allergic to plagiarism. Uh, uh, no, yeah, no, that's that's pretty stupid. Like, you could be influenced, but just if you're taking everything one to one, you're not doing anything original. You're not doing anything good for yourself. You're not doing good for anybody. There are gonna be those fans that are like, "Yeah, sure, this is wonderful because it's exactly what I want." But that's the issue. It it's not unique. You can't take someone else's game and sell it as your own they, mm-hmm. that's not how it fucking works all they changed was like link's character for the most part like they swapped yeah. out a link for a link with a hood or a hat or something like that a hood because he has a hat already ah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> which is yeah. funny actually the the game tunic is even also a nod to zelda or link i should say because link wears a tunic mm-hmm. yeah I like that. But it's not the exact same fucking thing. But it's not the same thing. Like uh, that that one game with the mouse that we were looking at before, where she like digs underneath and like pops out. So it's like Legend of Zelda, but like with extra mechanics. Mm-hmm. I forgot what the fuck the name of the game was. Do you remember what I'm talking about? No. 
fuck me. Uh, let me go. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I uh, I can't find it here. But there was uh some trailer that you had sent us before of this Zelda like game, but the character was a rat and they had the ability to like burrow and kind of travel that way and they would like pop out from one end and like you could oh, use it for combat. Oh yeah, man, there I forgot go. about that. What was it called though? Here's your journey. I don't fucking know. That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh shit. So much stuff comes out, man. Oh, I wish I would have known that one because I was actually looking forward to that one. It looked like a game, a legit Game Boy version of Link's Awakening. Shovel, uh, Shovel Knight? No, no, Mina the Hollower. There we go. Mina, Mina, Mina. the Hollower. Oh, yeah, man. I can oh, either write. Knight. I need to write that down. It is that out yet? Knight. It is. Let me look it up now. No, they're still on Kickstarter. Damn, this sucks. Yeah, initial the, release. Do they have December it on Steam? They have an early access. No, they don't, I thought they would have like early access for Steam. Nope. Uh, it's yeah, supposed, it's, they're still on Kickstarter. Yeah, the release date is supposed to be for the end of next year. Support them. Anybody, support them. Mini, me, Mina the, the, the... What the what, huh? What? Mina the Hollower. <laughs> Mina the Hollower. <laughs> Pledge, donate. It's all <laughs> no, no, no. Thing. Donate. Don't pledge. Just <laughs> donate. <laughs> no, it's the same thing, dude. Uh, um, so, what you been playing? Me? Um, League? Oh, actually, uh, Curse of the Dead Gods. Yeah, that's one of the uh, PlayStation Plus things, right? Yeah. You got it for yeah. free? How is I, it? Really fucking fun. Um, is it, is it like a turn-based or is it like strategy? No, no, no. It's a uh, top-down dungeon crawler, so it's very like Diablo. -esque. Oh, okay. Um, uh, it's it's procedurally generated. The map kind of goes like as you complete the the floors, every single level that you want to go, um, you get cursed more, and for every every curse is different, and you don't know what the fuck you're gonna get. It's a, a right pain in the ass. I'm already at the last floor because it starts off with uh, the first three are the first bosses of each like um, domain. And then the second tier is the first boss and the second one. And then the third one is the first, the second, and the third boss. And mm. it like goes on for a really fucking long time. Like almost like I'd say 27 to like 35 minutes if you just kind of like rush it. Um, it's a right pain in the fucking ass. <laughs> the last, last one, though, it's every floor has, like, the first two bosses in between, and the final, like, boss of the floor is the last boss of every biome. Um, I was so close to beating it, and then my final curse was this one that, like, if you take damage, all the lights go out, because they have this mechanic that you have this little coin at the bottom that it's uh, on the dark side, you take increased damage, and you have, like, super limited vision. But mm -hmm. the increased damage is like it's, it's a lot, and then the light one, um, you deal increased damage, and you take reduced damage, like not by much, but you do have like other kind of artifacts that you could equip to increase how much like the damage reduction is. Um, I have one that I take twenty percent less damage in the light, but because I kept on getting hit in the light, I would take fifty points of damage. In the dark, I would take one fifty to two hundred. Mm. That's a pretty big fucking gap. Yeah. And it's super fucking frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> so I got stuck with that one on the final fucking boss, and I was like, shit. Um, but no, it's really fun. Uh, the weapons, they all synergize really fucking well. There's a uh, main hand, second secondary, a heavy weapon, and your torch. The torch, it's permanent. Um, you could swap out, like, the other three weapons for whatever the fuck it is. Uh, some things are cursed. Other ones just, like, have different passives. Um, there's three attributes to work on, which is constitution, dexterity, and perception. Constitution is health, dexterity is uh, damage output, and perception is just, like, uh, luck, like item find, like drop chance. Um, what else is there? Certain items, well, every drop, you could either pick it up or you could sacrifice it, like, offer it to a god, and um, you either get, like, health back, you get gold off of it, uh, your corruption gauge goes low. If you give up a cursed item, you could remove a curse that you have, um... The last curse is a fucking nightmare because your health just starts draining until you reach one and then it stops draining. It so leaves you on one. Not, 
What if yeah, you like you healed and stuff? It. Like it'll still go down. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, you you still drain. It's just like it it's a race at that point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Anything else? else? There are these electric fetuses that could go straight to fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> There's always gonna be one enemy in every fucking game that's just like detested, and that that one's mine. They have this giant fuck off AOE shock thingy. Mm -hmm. Then they could also summon like little clouds that like they go along the uh, the map, and um, it, it's a weird rhythm. Uh, oh, because there's also a dodge and a parry mechanic. Hold on, there's like a dodge and a parry mechanic, but um, you if you dodge right, if you dodge right, you perfect dodge and you get stamina back, which is also stamina. Um, and certain things like they benefit off of that you either get like uh there's a there's a claw weapon that um if you perfect dodge you crit like throughout for three seconds but mm. because it's like the fastest weapon in the game you hit like you hit enough time. to make it worth yeah. it yeah yeah um if you perfect if you parry you could weaken them so they take increased damage and they get like staggered a little bit uh what else is there? Certain things improve the less stamina you have. I think the, there is one buff that I don't like, which is increased damage to enemies that haven't taken damage. Because it only works once. So if they're at max health, they take 20% extra damage. Mm -hmm. But that's it. Okay. So it's kind of stupid, in my opinion. I guess it's just to knock it down quickly and then you do something else i don't know mm, i don't I, I don't i don't see those things <laughs> every time i see it as like a, an option to like upgrade a weapon i'm like ah, i don't think i want this what else what else have you been playing um honestly that's it i played a bit of yeah. elden ring uh yeah you said uh, that you had beat uh who did you just beat you beat the the god skin duo yes yeah, yeah. So I burnt the tree. Mm. I'm inside uh, Azula. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just beat the Godskin duo, and now I'm kind of stuck in the area afterwards. Okay. After I, you burnt the tree, by the way, there's a lot of stuff that's closed off to you afterwards. So the whole map. What do you mean? No, you can. I can't. Tell you, can get a, can you, can, you can get the map. You can still How? travel around and do things. Just there's certain. Uh, Side missions and like like character quests and stuff like that that are closed off to you afterwards. I can teleport again. Mm -hmm. Huh? Because yeah. each one that I saw, it was like crossed out. Uh, you probably got to step away somewhere else then, but I you definitely can, hundred percent. All right. Um, for me, I <laughs> so oh, I don't even oh, play. Oh. What happened? Uh, this fucking thing. Where what is, is that? Come on. A replicant. Huh? near oh replicant god it's actually really fucking good uh yeah. the stories that are in this are so heart-wrenching really like yeah oh it's on maintenance god damn it is um, it uh one... is this something that's gonna annoy me with a lot of um paywalls and stuff no you got a lot of uh you got a lot of currency for free so you could do like free summons but then they also do have like exclusive summons that are only for like paid gems mm -hmm. that's kind of that's kind of a cop-out to me personally i don't like that but it's also not required so at the same time like i can't complain mm -hmm. um i don't know if it's like higher drop chances that are on it or some shit hopefully not but um no the the gear system's pretty good the combat's pretty solid um again the stories are just sad as shit as as they are in in near itself yeah uh yeah, it's good. I was I was initially uh, upset it was a gotcha game, but is it co-op? Uh, I actually don't know. There is a friend system. Mm. Um, I I don't know if it's like oh you could blend. I think I'll only or... play if like I can play with you. Like same thing with the uh the Final Fantasy, whatever the fuck for Soldier game. I I have no what? interest. I don't I don't have interest in phone games. Period. I I wanted to give it a chance, but it's just like I just. I don't want to play on my phone. I either have to keep it always on my charger or it's just going to die on me. Like, 
There's I I don't understand why there's so many high powered things with phones when phone batteries don't last long. That's just me. Um, I played Trek to Yomi. The hell's that? It's a so. <laughs> Uh, this game was marketed so well. Uh, it's like a black and white side scrolling sack and slash type game. Trek to Yomi? Trek to Yomi. T R E K to Yomi. And it's, it was, a lot of people compared it to like Ghost of Tsushima, except like more, very more, much more simpler. Because it has this like very beautiful Japanese black and white art style, like Kurosama type films. This shit is the most basic, most boringest piece of crap I've ever played. I played in a while. It was so overrated. Yeah, I was expecting something really good. No, the way it really not. Right I'm still playing it now. <laughs> what? No, lie. Sorry, I was just playing it today, and I did. I I took the game off my hard drive. Like I was done with it. Oh man. I got. I, I got. Excited. Like the whole point of the game is like the most basic of stories. Like you know, your your teacher was killed by an invading army and you're there for revenge so you go and seek out the the the, the general whoever the heck killed them you know you, you you it happened as while you were a child so now you're grown up you're seeking revenge you find the general and you died so now the trek to yomi i guess yomi i would assume is like hell so the trek to yomi if what they keep on saying is like his his journey through hell in order to get resurrected back and and, and seek revenge so I'm already in that point where I'm running through hell and I'm fighting these ghosts and I'm fighting these supernatural creatures and you wouldn't believe how little their their like the fighting mechanics are. Like you can switch between like a little kunai things you can throw, a little bow and arrow, and uh like a little hand cannon type thing that you carry around. You can switch between the three and kind of shoot it. But they're slow as hell. The enemies hit you super hard. And um the blocking system is pretty cool because, like, there's a parry system to it. So you can parry and then you can deal some damage to them. But, like, there's it's, I, I just find myself always pressing the same buttons over and over and over again just to get through the game. And the whole, the whole game is in Japanese with subtitles, obviously. So, like, the feel is still there. And it's a beautiful game. But it's just, it's, it's the most basic of gameplay you would ever you could ever play. And if that's okay with you, then sure go for it and try it. But like I needed I needed something more deep. And like that I'm, wasn't that wasn't it for me. I'm reading the reviews and like someone does share your disdain for it. Mm -hmm. But there's also a lot of people that are like, Oh my god, this is great. Gameplay's amazing, really good samurai game, blah blah blah. You know what I honestly feel it is? Mm -hmm. It's a devolver game. It is devolver, so... isn't it? Yeah, 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 which is it's, it's very much really like... well, no, not, you know what? Not even though, because Devolver always did a lot of unique things with old school style gameplay. No, this yes, is, this is also, just straight like, up like old school style gameplay, which is extremely boring. They they do really good fucking things, and yeah. that's why it's like kind of disarming to hear like something crappy. Yeah. I think they focus more on the art style and the presentation rather than anything else, and like. They, they kind of missed the mark. Like, to me, three things that you need in a game. And and obviously, everybody has their own opinion on what is more important than the other. But the three things is gameplay, story, and graphics. This game has one. <laughs> and that's just graphics. <laughs> graphics. It's just graphics. That's all it is. The story <laughs> is um, unbelievably cliche, boring, generic. And the gameplay, there's not much to it at all. Like, it's... I can get... I, I've gotten through most of the game already... By pressing the same damn buttons the entire time damn you it's, know what has all three what don't King say Monster. it I, take your damn <laughs> shot actually i don't know if i have anything <laughs> you didn't bring anything how dare hurt. you not be prepared no, today today uh i kind of gotta like lay off a little bit but um <sighs> i'll definitely take one tomorrow mm. fucking <laughs> one of my coworkers just like sent out this uh this text to me and like the other person working tomorrow and they were like, I'm texting you both. The person to respond might win a half day. And I was like, yo, I won. So I'm probably going to get a half day. Mm, mm. Okay. Uh, the um, sooner I get out of there, man, the better. Yeah. Uh, then later you complain that you're not making enough money. Oh, of course. That's, that's how it works with everybody. Yep. You, you got to right. leave and then you're mad when oh, you don't oh, have no, no, any no. money. <laughs> I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mean like leave that like shift. I mean just 
the fucking gig itself. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no, no. If if I leave early, I know damn fucking well like I'm making less than what I can. Oh, some other coworkers I have are just oh, man. Yeah. They'll... But the thing is, a lot of people think that way. Is that they'd be like, "Yo, I want to leave, man. I'm tired. It's slow. It's nothing going on." And then they look at their paycheck or they look at their pockets because, you know, a lot of bars, you know, you're leaving with cash and on mm-hmm. and on hand when you leave. And, and then they wonder why they're short. You know, they wonder why they don't have as much. I was like, because, you, motherfucker, you left your shift early or you got cut because you wanted to get cut. So what are mm-hmm. you complaining about? It's like, oh, I only work three days. I don't have enough days. <laughs> Calls out. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Calls out or complains that you're putting, in, putting me on too many shifts. But you only gave three days. Oh man. Oh, um. Uh, second game I told you guys about, uh, Eldest Souls. Oh, fuck that game. <laughs> like Forced skin. Like it's it, and it's not a bad game. It's an infuriating game. It's it's very much Dark Souls, except it's nothing but bosses. Oh, so it's good. Fuck that game. Yes, yes. It's 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 uh it's it's only bosses. Like kind of like Titan Souls. I don't know if you ever played that. Like all you play. Hold on. I was I was gonna Google it to like kind of like see some videos or screenshots of it. Yeah. I put eldest and I was like, what's the rest of them? Like eldest of souls. Eldest Souls. That's it. Eldest like, of souls. Like Titan Souls. Mm-hmm. Titan Souls is another game. It was very much like a, a top down hack and slash. And um, but for eldest souls, it's a top down hack and slash kind of pixel art ish. And it's nothing but bosses. Like you go from dungeon to dungeon, you, you're fighting bosses, and I, oh, these bosses are fucking hard. Sounds Ridiculous like a theory also. They, and and they're fair though. Like even though I keep dying, I've died numerous times. Even to the this one, well, not the first boss. The first boss is more of a tutorial boss, but the second boss, I died so you many didn't times. Die to the tutorial boss? I didn't die to the tutorial boss. So it's not a real Souls game. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the second boss was infuriating. I finally beat him. Um and e- every boss that I fought so far afterwards has been fair but hard because there there are very strict patterns, not strict patterns, but there are patterns like they 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 they're very good at telegraphing what they're going to do. So you really have to pay attention to what they're doing and and, and what like and how to like maneuver and dodge it and all that stuff. So it's 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 crazy. Like I don't know why I wanted to jump on a game like that after doing uh, Elden Ring, because I am too frustrated to deal with another Dark Souls game. So I, I might not touch that one for a while after after I dealt with that second boss. And I was like, <laughs> man, this is this is too much for me. My my I could feel my blood pressure rising. <laughs> and then uh, and then of course more Dark Souls ish, I guess you could say, because but it's really not that hard. I've been playing a. Uh, Final Fantasy Chaos. Oh, I saw. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been playing when, uh, that. When I got on, I was like, I saw it on, Spot- on Spotify. What the fuck? Mm. On Discord. Discord. That, that you were playing, playing Chaos. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's 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 not a bad game. Um, I get, it just came out at the wrong time. That's really it. Yeah, yeah. Danny was right. It just came out at the wrong time, pretty much. Um, fucking uh, Elden Souls. <laughs> fucking. I think I think if they made that game more open world ish then it, it probably would have done better like for you to like explore oh, more and do more of your own things the uh yes but then then there's also going to be the comparison between fucking elden ring and that where it's gonna be like, oh they tried to be too much like elden ring sure you know, it's gonna be like everyone fucking nitpicking left and right yeah of course like, uh, you, you you can't do anything about it like everyone's gonna say oh it's elden ring clone elden ring clone blah blah blah. i wouldn't meanwhile fucking elden ring is just but i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't fault them for comparing it but when if you want to talk about gameplay they're two very different things though they, they play mm-hmm. very very differently so like yeah, from what people I was watching it. people complain about if if they did the open world type of style like elden ring did they people i'm sure people will complain because pe- they'll find people will find anything to complain about Mm-hmm. But um, but that that's pretty much where it stops. Like that's it. Like the gameplay, from Elden Ring and with Final Fantasy Chaos, which is by the way Final Fantasy. Oh, is it Strangers Strangers in Paradise? Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy yeah. Origin. Uh, it's it, it well, plays very We're never going to really call it that. No, it's Final Fantasy Chaos for now, yeah. and, now and forever. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. So it's 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 okay, and 
you you only play from dungeon to dungeon. Like it has like a map, like a node map, where you just select like the next place you want to go. Uh, and then it just like puts you into the. And map, then it just puts the... you into the dungeon, and that's pretty much it. So, okay. so it's not bad, and I I kind of see myself playing it little by little. Like I'll do one dungeon for like the week, and maybe jump on it some other time because it's not that deep of a story. It's not that deep of a game, but it's still fun. So, it's like Neo. The Have samurai one, N I O H, yeah. yeah. Um, Have you played it? It's easier it's, than Neo, though. But yeah, it's it's I could see a little bit like you, Neo. That also has the whole like pick where to go, yeah. puts you into the fucking map. Yeah, yeah. But Neo was hard. Neo was hard, but I the Final Fantasy game is not really that hard. It it can be challenging moments, especially if you don't if you're not paying attention, because you can get hit hard, pretty hard. But um, you can recover pretty fast too, so it's not. I don't know. It's not. It's not a very challenging game. Shit. Mm-hmm. What else? Um, Final Fantasy, All the Souls. I said Trek to Yomi. Uh, me and Danny. I think we talked about it last episode. But me and Danny are in the end game for Tiny Tina, but I haven't really touched it since then. So I'm just waiting for your ass to jump on it. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me. What are you playing? Something else? I beat Melody of Memory. Oh, God. What, for like the 17th time? No, no, no. It's the first time I beat it. First time? I, I, Did you 100% all... it? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I, just, I just got to the end. There's so much more that I have to do and uh, so many songs that I don't want to play, to be quite honest. Really? Yeah. Because they, like, they put the, uh, like, the overworld and, like, the battle music for, like, certain worlds and shit. But, like, the overworld is always, like, really, really slow and shit. So how do you, like... I, I It's a rhythm game. Give me, like, the faster shit. Like, I want to, like press buttons not just eh, eh, mm-hmm. like eh. um the final boss was really fucking good and also you learn nothing about the master masters <laughs> so wait so pissed. does it I just connect so old stuff it just connects to like the old things that um, you already know about kind of and it expands on more so no one reads the secret reports um i, I barely I, I barely read destiny lore so damn right i won't read the uh reports I forgot which game it was that I was reading that the the reports for. It was either Birth or Two or I don't remember which one it was. Point is, there's this whole story going on about like this this one person that was transplanted into some other place and whatever the fuck. And I had my suspicions as I was reading it all. I, I think it was Birth, but as I was reading it, I was like, wow, this seems like it'll be really fucking. Could this be this one person? So then as you go to like the final area, it does uh, the whole thing of it's like, hey, you can't you can't save until you finish this. So you sure you want to proceed? I'm like, yeah. You then watch this cutscene that confirms all the fucking suspicions that I had. And I was like, oh, mm-hmm. God, I hate you so much. But it, it also left a lot of loose ends open. Of course um, it did. Yeah. But it, it does. It does definitely. um what is it? Right after Melody ends, four is gonna take place, because uh, Riku teleports into Quadratum. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he th- the they first go into actual the final continuation world. from three to Melody to four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was honestly pretty pretty cool because mm-hmm. there was uh like Kyrie and Riku were were both the answers to something, and then this third entity was that, and then they turned into a portal. And Riku was like, all right, deuces. And then he ends up fucking going to Quadratum because of her. It thing, whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, so pretty much as Melody ends, the cutscene that you get at the end of Remind where it's like Sora waking up in Shibuya and Riku also showing up in Shibuya, that's that's what that is. Okay. So it's, mm-hmm. it's going to just go straight into fucking four. Okay. Yeah. Still waiting for you to do our uh, Kingdom Hearts episode. Yeah, I was hoping that Melody would like show a lot more than it did. Oh, were you waiting not. on that? Is that what it was? That was I was one of them because I was right. like, "Yo, more Master and Masters," and it turns out that you were just like fighting one of like the nightmares in Kyrie's heart. Mm. I'm like, really? This is it? <laughs> But you don't care about it. Spoilers, whatever. Well, no, no, um, don't, 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 no, don't, don't spoil it for me still. Because well, I always still have questions. Fight. 
the, the final fight was was pretty interesting. It was it was uh-huh. super like it it all comes down to Sora. They didn't get Haley Joel for the fucking voice in this, which is hilarious. <laughs> but um, like Kyrie's about to fucking die, and then she wields the Kingdom Key, and I was like, I'm sorry, is she another fucking like chosen she's, wielder or some she's shit? She's a wielder too now. No, she she's been a wielder since three because she was training under uh, Yen Sid. Uh-huh. But like the Kingdom Key was alarming. Tell me how fucking Sora hijacks her whole like being and then fights on her behalf as himself. He possessed her, in a sense, yeah. Because then, like, as as that's there, um, fucking antagonist is like, oh, look who decides to join us, and he stands up and like fucking gets in position. Well, she stands up, gets in position, turns into Sora, and I was like, what? And he's like, your voice can't reach us, but I know where your heart is now. This game, man. Yeah, it's <sighs> okay. <laughs> the ending was nice. The ending was super, super fucking nice. You got yeah. to play the credits as like this whole track thing. You start off as a uh, Sora, and like all the characters slowly like start to come in, like uh, um, the side characters from Kingdom Hearts One, and then like fucking um, Roxas shows up, and it goes like in kind of chronological order of how things were. How do you think the so, game was received overall? Melody. Yeah. Um. Throughout casual players, not very well. Throughout fans, probably super mixed. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, it's still Kingdom Hearts, but it's not what it is that you expect it to be. But I, I fucking love music games. Like, I just love music in general. So I was pretty... Like, I was very on the fence about it. But it, it, it is a lot better than I had anticipated it to be from, like, a personal standpoint. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I played the whole thing on Proud. So I think that's the only reason it took like the 10 hard fucking hours to do it. Yeah. Okay. Some songs that I never fucking heard before, like from Chain of Memories. Uh, I ended up doing a full chain, which is like hitting every note. And I was <laughs> like, oh, it's so cool. What What is it on? Is it on PlayStation? PlayStation, Switch. I don't know if Xbox. Maybe on Xbox also, because, I mean, they released the uh, all-for-one. Well, all-in-one for a thingy. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Maybe I should just wait for it to be on the Game Pass for PS Plus. Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows, apparently, also for PC. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's it's nice. I do enjoy it. I play, because you get different teams also, because you can play as, like, Sora, Donald, and Goofy, um, Ventus, Aqua, Terra, Roxas, Shion, Axel, or Riku, um, Meow Wow, and I forgot what the bat's name was from Dream Drop. Um, I played as Roxas. That was my team. <laughs> <laughs> the moment that I unlocked them, I was like, well, bye, Sora. Wow. Yeah. There's so much to unlock in, in that. Like, you got, like, art cards, um, like, keyblade cards and shit. You could, uh, they also have a uh, multiplayer. They have, they have local co-op or they have, like, online battles. But no online co-op? Uh, no. No, Aww. no, hmm. no. The online co- uh, mo- the battles are are pretty fun because it's um the more notes you hit, like you have this little gauge that fills up, and um the better you hit it, the more it fills up, and once it fills up, you kind of like activate tricks that fuck with your opponent. Mm. So some of them is that like the notes go invisible. So oh, you have that's to, like, cool. Play based on like how the pattern was already going, like from what you thought it was at least, mm. or like positioning and shit. Um, another one is called Harsh Judge. That like you have to hit excellent at least like the lower point of excellent because there's miss good excellent and then like rainbow excellent which is like perfect timing mm-hmm. so uh yeah you have to like hit it you can't just hit good because then it counts as a miss and then like you take damage mm. um what else is there uh I don't remember what the other ones were. Because some of them don't, like, really fuck with you as much as you would think that they do. As long as you keep the tempo up, like, you're totally fucking fine. Okay. God. Yeah. Hmm. Remind me to, to to try it at some point, maybe after. Yo, well, 1v1 done. me. Melody and memory. What's up? Well, I mean, definitely not now. <laughs> I'm going to start school on Monday. So I'm going to be swamped again uh, for the next coming months. So maybe, like, on my next two-week vacation between semesters. We'll do I'll, a I'll local local play. Local battle. When you come yeah. to New York. 
Yeah, I still need to come down there and visit too. We'll take the PlayStation to a bar and just hook it up to one of the TVs. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to cut off the episode here now. I'll end this here. Anybody, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys watching and listening, all the audio listeners as well. Um, we got our website, GamerGuardians.net, if you want to check out previous episode episodes. And I also have reviews, show that, uh, links there that you can check out for The Coalition. And you can also check out Boneless Bones links as well to his Twitch and Twitter in order to check out his streams. Um, he's another one of our guys on the show, which is not here today, obviously. So I guess that's it. Randy, Randy doesn't do any streaming, sadly. I do have to sneeze though. Um, <laughs> uh, I was, I was thinking about it today for something. What the fuck was it? I don't remember. I don't remember. Some fucking game that well, I want to play we'll, first. We'll get to that at some point then, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It'll happen when it happens. It'll happen when it happens. I know. I'm sure it'll be Kingdom Hearts, the first thing. No, no, no. no. <laughs> My... no. All right. So, bye, guys. Bye, everybody. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. -bye.